What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. We're down here at the Beer Reviewer Get Together in Hotland, Georgia, and we have Shane from Shane's Craft Beer Reviews with us today. What's, What's going good? on, guys? How are you? Man, this has been such a great time, hasn't it's, it? It's been the most amazing time I've ever had in my entire life, TK, yeah. without a word of a lie. Yeah, and I'll tell you, if you watch some of the other channels, we have Imperfectly Me Crafts here with us as well, as well as Brian the Beer Snob, and as you can tell, we're in his brew pub here, right? So this is the hardcore, I mean, hard poor pub. Someone said hardcore this weekend, and now it's stuck in my that, brain. That was me. Is it? That I was thought it me. was Chew, but it's <laughs> apparently him. So we're going to do a beer review today. This is one that Shane has already done on his channel, so I'll, I'll throw a link up there to him as well as the other folks. So go and check out his review as well to see what he thought of this. When did you do that? A while? How long ago? Um, actually, it wasn't that long ago. I think it might have been the second or third last video that I've done, which we probably got put up uh, two weeks ago, I think. So check that one out. So this beer is called Better Place Berliner Weiss, and this is with blueberry, peach, and lactose. Now, this is from a Canadian brewery, so this is from Counterpart out of Niagara Falls. Are they near you? Uh, Counterpart's about a 20-minute drive from my house, okay. and it's a, straight, it's a straight road just right to it. Make a quick little left. They make some excellent beers down at Counterpart. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I, seeing something like this is great because I don't even see this. I mean, Ohio's not far from Ontario, but I never see it. This one here comes at 4%. That's an interesting color on that, sir. Like I said, I did review this before, and uh, most of the guys who watch my channel know I'm not really keen on tart or sour beers. Mm. I gave this a really high rating. I really enjoyed it, so I know you're going to love it. Yeah, I'm a sour fan. Tart beers, sour beers. I'm, I'm in on that all day long. So we'll throw up a picture of the can so you can see what that looks like. As far as the color, again, don't have the SRM chart with me. Oh, we do not. No, but it looks like fruit juice. I mean, this well, is kind of like a purplish plum kind of color, maybe. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely cool looking. Got a nice head on it. We're just pouring these in these little plastic cups. I still got a thumb's worth of, of I guess it's white with kind of like a reddish hue to it at the head as well. Yes, a little mm. bit, yes. So again, we're going with blueberry, peach, and lactose. I love those fruits, so mm. let's give it a shot. Man. Absolutely. We'll give it a sniff first, sure. I guess. Let's see what we got. This is certified funky. This is going to get a Bismarck key. So we get a little bit of funkiness on this. You're definitely picking up, I think, the the, um, the fruits, the blueberry and the peach. Yep. Got, but it's kind of a subtle smell. It's it not is. overwhelming, not artificial, nice natural fruit smell. And, and it is it is a, the actual blueberry puree, not a, a flavoring mm -hmm. that, that they add after. And that's why the counterparts are, beers tend to be a little bit more expensive because they do use actual fruit instead of... Uh, extracts and stuff like that. Yeah, and they're obviously much better quality. The only danger is can't leave them in the basement too long. Anderson did, and they exploded. Not yeah. from counterpart, but left the fruit sour in the basement. And it fermented. <clears throat> it literally blew up like a hand grenade. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was pretty bad. So luckily that didn't happen with this. Ready yes, to give it a shot? Absolutely, brother. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> nice. Nice, nice taste to it. I still like that, yeah. Now, I'll, I'll tell you this. I dig big-time funky beers, and I also like slightly tart beers and probably everything in between. This is probably a bit more on the tart side, so if you're someone yes. like Shane who's not a huge sour fan, you could still get down with this. Uh, but it still does get that funky, so it does get a biz. It does get through on that that award there. Absolutely. Uh, what do you think of the fruits? What are you picking up the most? Um, I, I get a lot of the blueberry in this. Yeah. I don't... I've, even the second time doing this, I don't really get the peach very much. Mm. I might get a hint of it, but it, to me it doesn't really come through very much. But the blueberry is lovely in this. And like I said, uh, it's tart, which I can, I can stand tart. And it's just it's a refreshing. The flavor is so good yeah. that, like I said, this is the second time I've had this. So I obviously enjoyed it the first time, which is weird. Yeah. Yeah, I, really I agree. Enjoy. I think the blueberry shines through the most. And I'm wondering, I mean, blueberries are sometimes a little tart themselves. I wonder if the peach is just the sweet to balance it out. Now, right. it does say that it has lactose in it, too. Usually lactose pumps up that sweetness. So right. they must have used it sparingly in this. If they didn't so, yeah. abuse it and go too heavy with it and make it too sweet. So for a summer day, and I'm sweating, if you can see, right? We're in Atlanta. It's we're, very we're warm sweating. here. We're, we're some northern boys sweating. 4%, nice fruity flavors, very sessionable beer. It gets a big thumbs up from me. And from me as well. Like I said, I rated this really high on my mm. channel when I did it. And I'm drinking it again. Yeah. Which is just blows my mind. Well, I appreciate you sharing this one with me. Again, this is something I never would have gotten in Ohio. So, yeah, you know, sure. thrilled to be able to try something like this from another country. It's not that far from me, but even that, you know, the border sometimes does that to you. So, Absolutely. thrilled to be able to get it. Um, hopefully, you like the video. If you do, please hit thumbs up. Give us a big like. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you tried anything from Counterpart? Some other beers that, should be, that we should be looking out for? Hey, let us know. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.